talk about, in a sense, the, what you were brought in to help fix, to help address. Where was Apple then? And then let's talk about your own evolution in the job and where you and Tim have been taking the company since then. Sure, that's great. Um, so I joined Apple in five years ago. Uh, I just made my five-year anniversary. You get a nice sign thing Tim, <laughs> when you make five years. Um, and so I had just finished the first term of Obama. So that's 2013, um, keeping in mind that uh, Tim had taken over as CEO in, I guess, 2012, early 2012, before Steve's death later that year. Um, and Tim, you know, brought to the job an incredible reverence and love for Steve and the company that he had envisioned and built, yeah. but also himself. Yeah. And one of the things, if you've heard anything Tim's talking about lately, um, he talks about the fact that companies have to have values. They have to stand for something in the world. They, uh, you know, we are a consumer product company. We make products that you actually hold in your hand, you put in your home, you put on your wrist, um, uh, and of course laptops. Uh, and so those are things that people need a, a level of trust about. And so one of the things that really upset him I think personally, because he is a strong conservationist yeah. um, and uh, a huge outdoor person, um, but also just professionally was that Apple, which he knew was doing work on environmental issues, was getting a bad rap. Mm -hmm. um, and so when um, I was stepping down, I got a call from him and said, hey, would you be interested in coming out? Um, and you know, at, at Apple, there's a tradition. On your first day of work, you have lunch with your, your new boss. Mm -hmm. And the first day of work for me was our Worldwide Developers Conference. So Tim was on stage presenting uh, the latest and greatest software. So we had lunch on my second day of work. Wow. Um, and I said, okay, you know, you got me here, because uh, that was a bit of a journey. Um, I was commuting back and forth to DC. We still had a son in, in high school there. Um, what do you want me to do? And it was a real Apple answer. He said, I want you to figure out what we're doing you know, get to know this place, get to know the people, and then tell me what we should be doing. Tell me how we can be, be leaders. And I think it was less about being seen as a leader as being a leader. Um, although, of course, no one likes to be on the wrong yeah, sure. end of, of, um, of the New York Times or anyone else. Um, so you take an audit then, basically? Ba yeah, basically, but sort of a, you know, an audit that was based a lot on understanding, first, how Apple works. Apple's a very unique company. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm incredibly, you know, lucky to have found my way there. Yeah. It fits who I am and, and works for me. But also what was happening. Apple is really all about innovation. And what I learned over the time that I spent in that first six months or so was how much innovation was happening and how to motivate those engineers, mm -hmm. which essentially is all about at Apple telling them that they can't do something. Because I hate that, you know. I'm an engineer by training, um, and I'd walk into rooms, and we would have these discussions that in the beginning, I thought, okay, what are these people smoking, uh -huh. right? Because we, one of the first discussions was, why don't we just buy a forest? We're tired of worrying about whether the people who manufacture our packaging, you know, packaging is mostly paper, but you want to make sure that that paper is sustainably sourced, that you're not destroying the rainforest or any forest to do it. Why don't we just buy our own forest? And I thought, okay, this is a unique Real approach. approach. Yeah. Um, another yeah. meeting very early That's on, cool. um, and I'll tell the end of this story yeah. later, was why don't we just change the way that aluminum is made? You know, aluminum, I'm a chemical engineer by That's training. Right. One of the first things you learn is about Charles Hall, yeah. early 1900s, figures out how to take aluminum ore and change it into aluminum metal. And I'm thinking, what? Yeah. <laughs> but all in the service of, of the environment. It was rather bold and audacious, too. I mean, people were thinking really out of the box. Yeah, there's no box. Yeah. There can't be a box. Because if, it's, if you don't challenge all the conceptions you have, you can't innovate. 